Hi, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your December 13th, 2023 Mercury Retrograde reading for you. Now, I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel be seen by the YouTube algorithm, so thank you so very much for doing so. Now, let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Okay, we have the King of Cups in the upright position. We have the Six of of wands we have the ace of swords reversed okay. angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly oh this one right here we have the eight of wands reversed angels and spirit guides show me clearly the king of swords reversed interesting angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly mm. and the five of pentacles reversed one more no no okay interesting interesting okay so what i really like here is the five of pentacles reverse we're coming out of a time period of feeling a poverty mentality or feeling like finances have been really 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 tight so being aware of that and knowing okay i'm coming out of this time period is going to be very beneficial for us so knowing that is is a powerful thing this time is going to feel like it's slow, okay? Mercury retrograde is going to feel very intense for us. We can see that here with the King of Swords reversed. That's us. We're represented by the Swords in the Minor Arcana, by the Lovers in the Major Arcana. The King of Swords is reversed and the Ace of Swords is reversed. After the Mercury retrograde, now either it's after the post-shadow period or it's, yeah, the post-shadow period is three weeks after Mercury retrograde ends. So Mercury retrograde goes from the 13th of December to the 1st of January. And what we're going to see here is that Mercury moves back and forth from Sagittarius time period, not time period, but Sagittarius energy because it's in Sagittarius. And then because it's such a fast moving planet, it goes into Capricorn energy and then it goes back into Sagittarius energy. We feel that very powerfully. And this is very different energy coming forward. So being aware of this during this time can really help us maneuver and handle Mercury retrograde. So during the pre-shadow period, we were, in, we were in Sagittarius energy from the 25th of November to the 1st of December. And this is where big dreams, big ideas come into play. We could really have felt, and I know I felt it myself as a Gemini, like I felt I could do anything. I was like, oh, wow, dreams, ideas, everything was coming forward. It felt like the world was my oyster. And then around the 1st of December, there was a sense of really practicality coming into play and everything having to line up just so. So being aware of this during this time, because that's when Mercury entered into Capricorn, that we became much more practical. And that practical energy lasts until the 23rd of December. And then on the 24th of, of December, Gemini, not Gemini, Mercury moves into, into Sagittarius again, from the 24th of December to the 1st of January. So this is powerful. We're going back and forth between being very optimistic, very kind of like, you know, the world's my oyster energy to being very practical, very, you know, well, how is this going to meet my long-term goals? And am I do I have everything lined up? And am I heading in the right direction? And just being a little bit harsh on ourselves. So being mindful about this. But what's really interesting here, especially with the King of wands crowning this whole entire reading is that the king of wands is fire sign energy aries leo sagittarius so it's amplifying the sagittarius times that mercury is in sagittarius and it's going to be looking at these things and looking at ourselves in the sense of am i moving towards my passion we're going to see our passion coming forward with determination with focus with insight with ideas and it's a bigger picture that we're looking at here we're looking at our creative self we're looking at our fiery passion itself but then we're also tempered by the practicality of, of Capricorn. It's interesting because we move right now, we're in the Sagittarius time frame up to the 21st of December. And then from the 22nd of December to the 19th of January, the sun is in Capricorn time frame. So it's very interesting, the energy that comes forward here and the power of it. We're going to be seeing that this Mercury retrograde brings out a lot of insecurities, like upsets, chaos, around our passion, our career, how we want to be moving forward. And it raises some really good points that if we're listening to ourselves, our subconscious is talking to us and Mercury retrograde lets it come forward and we can really solve a lot of our problems during this time and really move into a place of a lot more success. 
So let's see the chakra energy. Angels, not chakra energy. Let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Here we have harmony. We need to find the harmony within ourselves, the balance of how we need to move forward, of what we're moving towards, of what we want. And we're going to be opening up a door for ourselves in a way that we hadn't expected. Harmony is going to lead us in a direction that we might have said, oh, that would never be me, or I want this type of life. And we're going to find that soul-wise, we're being called to something more, to something different, to opening up a door that really does bring in harmony, but also a sense of success and a sense of determination, insight, understanding, but to something calmer, something a lot more quiet, which will be very easy for us, especially when we're in Capricorn energy to say, oh, that's not worth anything. But we're going to know internally it's worth everything. So slowing it down and scaling it back can actually be one of the best things we ever do for ourselves. It moves us then to our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly, guide this reading and show me clearly. Ooh, okay, right here. We had truth reversed, the third chakra. It's interesting because Sagittarius time frame is all about truth, right? It comes forward. And so Mercury being in Sagittarius, it has us looking at truth. But we're going to see a lot of things that aren't true that we've been holding on to. And this is held in our throat chakra. A lot of things that we have been saying or going after or thinking about that just aren't true for us. So focusing on our throat chakra and knowing that as a air sign energy, as a person ruled by Mercury, the throat chakra is super important to us. Focusing on also healing that throat chakra, embracing humming or singing or chanting, and really focusing on healing ourselves in the power of our voice, the balance of what we desire. That's going to be a game changer. It then moves us to our subconscious, not subconscious, it moves us to the energy to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. And this is the eight of wands and reversed. And it's interesting because we have the eight of wands reverse in the main part of the reading. Be mindful. Things seem like they're moving very, very, very slowly, which can be very frustrating to us. But stepping back and understanding that slowing things down is what spirit is saying. But what we're going to do here and why spirit is saying, hey, be mindful about this, is we're going to try and speed everything up. We're like, okay, if it's moving slower, I just have to ramp it up even more. I have to ramp it up to be able to get to where it is that I want to be. And we're going to be leaning into going at such a fast pace that it's actually going to be detrimental for us. So be mindful of this during this time. Again, we're crowned by the, by the king of wands, fire and passion, determination, focus, insight. There is a real sense of being very talented at what you do. So leading into that talent is going to be a very important thing for you. It's also going to revitalize your energy, move you forward in a very clear-sighted, very kind of like greater understanding way. And that can be a game changer. The, the king of wands also is having us look at what we are passionate about. What do we desire? This doesn't have to be monetarily, okay? So it isn't how can I monetize off of my passions and what I have fun at. You know, that's, that's a very, you know, capitalistic way of looking at things. Turning into ourselves and saying, what is joyous to me? What brings me joy? What brings me prosperity? What brings me a sense of success within myself that I do for me? And that can be the game changer right here, right now. And starting to fill up our cup, fill up our energy, and really focusing on how we need to move forward for ourselves and what we desire. It brings us then to the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a celebration of self. The Six of Wands is being able to say, you know what, I've done this really well. And so celebrating ourselves instead of, you know, always putting down a compliment and saying, oh no, I couldn't possibly, or, oh, you know, you know it was nothing. I didn't really try hard when we tried really hard. And, and taking that compliment and, and moving with it and saying, yes, I deserve respect and I, res I deserve, you know, to be seen for what I can do. That's going to be a really big thing for us, Gemini. Geminis are usually seen as flighty. They're usually seen as, as airheads or as people who, who are very young, like don't really grasp everything. And it's very interesting. I don't see us Geminis like that at all. And it can be because I am a Gemini. I can understand where people see us as flighty. When we get bored, we get bored and we're done. We have to move on. There's always something new to explore and we only have so much time here on this earthly plane. And so understanding that part of it is kind of like, well, why not go for a good adventure? Why not, you know, dive deeper into things? But it also means that we kind of think, well, I'll never really be good at anything. I'm interested in everything. And can you be an expert in everything? No. 
So I'm always just going to be half good at things. And that's not the case at all. This is going to be a time where we're really open and honest with ourselves. Because again, Mercury retrograde can be messy. And there's that always known about Mercury retrograde. It's also because Mercury retrograde, not Mercury retrograde, but Mercury is such a fast moving planet that people are like, hey, this Mercury retrograde, it happens often. It happens more often than a Pluto retrograde, right? So during this time, we, we look at things and we're like, oh, look how messy it is or look how chaotic it is. And we can see it more because it happens more. But it brings what needs to come to the surface, to the surface. A Mercury retrograde brings what we usually shove down deep and what we don't say to the surface. Now we can say it with finesse and usually in a Mercury retrograde, we don't. We say it in a very blunt, kind of chaotic, angry, angry way. So being mindful of that is also very important during this time. And understanding that Mercury controls communication and, and tech and travel. And those things are all very important to us because we are ruled by Mercury. But also understanding that we travel all the time. And whether it's, you know, traveling downstairs or traveling, you know, to the restroom, it doesn't really matter. We're always traveling somewhere. We're always moving in some direction or another. And what we're going to see here is that things are coming to the surface that need to come to the surface. There's a messiness that's coming forward that we have pushed down. And as we start to see it, we're going to start to say, I can celebrate me because it doesn't have to be perfect. And it doesn't have to be the way other people do things. It's the way I do things. And that brings us to the Ace of Swords reversed. The Ace of Swords is God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing us a gift just for us. We're represented by the swords in the minor arcana. We are taking this gift, but the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords is also reversed. So the Ace of Swords is reversed and the King of Swords is reversed. And we're going to think, I'm really, I'm really not getting anywhere. I'm really not moving forward at all. But things are going to be moving a little bit backwards during this time. We're going to be settling back down into what's really important to us about what really matters. How do I embrace my voice? How do I say and see what it is that I want? How am I opening up the door? And with the Ace of Swords reversed, God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, is handing us a gift of clarity, is handing us a gift of insight, is handing us a gift of the power of our voice and the sharpness and an aptitude. Is that a word? The, the power of our mind. And we're not going to be seeing it right away, but it's like we take it after the Mercury retrograde. So it's going to come, it's either going to come after Mercury retrograde on the 1st of January, once the Mercury retrograde is over, like after that time, or it's going to come three weeks after, after the post retrograde period. So being aware of this, that this energy can come to us in February, it can come to us now, but it is coming forward and it is going to be something that we greatly desire for ourselves as we, we are embracing more of the insight of it, of the power of it. And we're coming into 2024 with a real sense of what I want, you know, this real sense of this is where I need to be. What do I need in order to have a powerful, productive, but also healing and purposeful 2024. And it brings us to the eight of wands reversed. This isn't going to be a Mercury retrograde where everything seems to move super, super fast. Even though Mercury is the fastest moving planet, we're going to be looking at things and being like, why is it moving so slow? And it's going to be moving slow because things are going to be showing us and telling us, hey, slow it down. Slow it down. Stop biting off so much. Stop putting so much pressure on yourself. Slow it down. With the King of Swords reversed, our self-talk, naturally, as a Gemini, as an air sign energy, our self-talk can be really vicious. So just be aware of that first and foremost. But this is a negative air sign energy. This is a person who gives a compliment and an insult in the exact same breath, which we can do to ourselves and to others. This is biting criticism. This is harshness. This is saying, okay, what are the facts? Let me look at it all this way, purely off of logic. If it hasn't been done before, or if you haven't achieved it before, which is really difficult when it comes to our dreams, then what makes you think you can achieve it now? The king of swords can be cruel and sword energy can be cruel because the sword is the only weapon within the tarot. And it's a weapon of nobility. It is a weapon that screams, I am successful. But the king of swords reverse says, I am successful and you are not. There's somebody else who holds the power. There's somebody else here who's seen as the king, as the authority. And then we are the serfs and the peasants who aren't even allowed to touch the sword. We need to change that because there's something here that is keeping us from taking a hold of the sword energy, of the noble energy, of the you know powerful energy of this is what I want. This is the power of my voice. And this is what I need for me. It brings us to the five of, of pentacles reversed. We're letting go of a poverty mentality. 
we are releasing being you know, relegated to the trenches, being relegated to never being successful, to never getting to see ourselves as successful, and always walking it by a place that could have warmth and comfort for us, but just seems to mock us and ridicule us and hold us back. We are stepping out of, I want to say a depression, but if it's a clinical depression, this, this is different. Like, you know, see somebody, a doctor, a therapist, you know, take care of yourself. But with the five of swords, with the five of a pentacles reverse and the king of swords and ace of swords energy reverse what we're going to see is that slowly during this mercury retrograde we're seeing a lot of things that frustrate us a lot of things that have held us back personally our own behavior that has held us back and then societally behavior that has held us back and we are starting to move forward with a lot more gumption a lot more determination entering into 2024 with a sense of no this is how i'm being successful this is how i'm moving things forward you know, the energy coming together of Sagittarius and Capricorn, we can really then build a plan, a practical plan of these are my dreams. And these are how my dreams get to be seen by the world and by myself. And I am stepping into a power and a grace and authority that is me. And that is me connecting with my angels, connecting with my life purpose, connecting with what I desire. And we can say to ourselves, well, that's great, Dane. I don't know my life purpose. I don't know what I desire. What do you dream of late at night? What do you dream of? You know, moving yourself forward with like what are your dreams because your dreams will tell you your purpose even if again they're not about making money you can have a nine to five job or thereabouts and that can be great you know a dream doesn't always have to, uh, not a dream a life does work doesn't have to be our life and our dream work can be the thing that provides for us to be able to then have our life and our dream so understanding that can also be very liberating and we're going to see here that we're falling into our power once we release a mess that has been weighing us down that we won't say to ourselves like we won't say it we won't see it we won't like call it out so being mindful about this during this time here gemini is going to be very important our subconscious energy from spirit is beautiful we need to connect with beautiful things and for a lot of us gemini's we have had ugliness around us. Our space might be ugly. You know, we might be looking at things and being like, oh, that's ugly. I don't like it. Or just really seeing ugly things instead of beautiful things. Beautiful things will raise our energy vibration. It will make us happier. It just will bring a smile to our face and start to really elevate us. Some people don't care. We do. Surrounding ourselves with the beautiful is going to be liberating. It's going to be freeing. and It's going to be empowering. And that's really important. It then moves us to our chakra energy. And that is inspired reversed. So this is the sacral chakra and we need to let our sensual energy flow within our body. That's super important for our creative energy, our inspiration to come forward and for us to break down barriers and really see where we need to be, what we desire, what we want, what's holding us back. But there is an energy here of us not being in tuned with our sensuality of self, with our sensuality of expression. And it doesn't have to be anything sexual. It's just this sense of creative being the sense of energy, the sense of beauty washing over us and running through us. It brings us then to our subconscious energy to be mindful of. And that's the six of swords reverse. It can be that we doubt as we move forward. We could be moving forward with more confidence, but then have a wave of doubt come over us. The six of swords is gathering up knowledge and it's moving forward, but with apprehension. And I see us having confidence and then crippling doubt, and getting confidence, and then crippling doubt. And it's like being on a yo-yo, and people around us can say, oh my gosh, you know, Gemini, you're exhausting. And we know it because we feel it. We feel it. It's like, well, if you're exhausted hearing about it, I'm exhausted experiencing it. So be kinder to yourself. Take some things off your plate. Make it so, I don't want to say that your world is small, because I don't mean, and spirit does not mean at all, that your world becomes small. But it does mean that what you set out to do becomes very step-by-step. It's like, okay, first this, then this, then this. And keep it calm and stop expecting so much of yourself. There's nothing left to give, okay? Because some of us were trying to be so perfect that we are robbing ourselves of actually enjoying, enjoying how we're moving forward and, and what life is bringing us. Our subconscious tarot message is the Knight of Pentacles. Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Subconsciously, we are slowly and steadily moving towards our prosperity, towards our success, and towards what is bountiful for us. We're seeing doors open and we're seeing ourselves not be so afraid. We're taking those steps forward that we absolutely need to take. 
And that's going to be a really great thing. And we're not afraid anymore of, of kind of making things permanent. There was before a sense of like, it was all finite. It could all disappear and we'd be like, oh, okay, that's cool. I don't know why that's coming through, but it's all like, like I've just seen like a dandelion puff being blown into the wind. And now we're sitting there saying, no, you know what? Planting a garden, making it more stable, making it more secure for me. All right. All right, Gemini. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, which will be followed by a loud sound. Clearing away all negative energy, raising our positive energy, and embracing this time and ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Gemini. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Have a blessed Mercury retrograde and happy holidays. Bye.